everyone welcome in cool it help guys in this video tutorial you will learn to display image in image view yes i have prepared this tutorial for the beginners the java fx beginner now can learn how to load image inside the image view also we will discuss the path issues that comes when you trying to load image inside the image view so here in this example i will show you with the help of fxml project and without fxml project so i will cover the two things here so we will see the loading of image inside the image view control okay and then we will see uh, without fxml how to create the image view and how to create a image object and we can set on the image view to display the image so guys here's the fxml uh, that i am using in this project so we have a simple one image view here so just open the scene builder and go here in the library just drag and drop the image view okay you can place this image view on uh, the anchor pen container directly that doesn't big deal and here inside the code section simply we have to give a fx id to this because we are going to use this uh, fx id in uh, the controller file okay and uh, here's the controller file so i will describe you what coding required in this so simply use the annotation at the fxml then uh, create a instance which is the fx id of uh, image view that we have given in the fxml it's a very uh, straightforward and simple after that we will uh, write some code inside the initialize method here you can see because image view is a container and we have to put some image okay uh, inside the image view then it will be display on the stage so we have to prepare the image object you can guys see here at line number 32 we are creating a image object and guys notice this path get class dot get resource as a stream and uh, in this method we are passing a argument and guys, you guys notice that that image is inside the images folder and this images folder is uh, located at root level okay so every time when you trying to access a image which is inside a folder and folder is at root level then you have to place this forward slash okay then it will look the uh, resource or image in the root folder so images folder this is the name of the folder and this forward slash indicating that we are going to search at root level okay and image is inside this root level folder and our controller file is inside the base package okay now path issue will not be the problem in such case so i am focusing on the path the main intent to describe at this place most of users facing the problem while setting up the path for the image so guys i hope you are clear on this one so image object is prepared now we have to set this image object inside the image view simple use the image view dot set image method and pass image as a parameter and that image will be displayed okay i have saved the code now i'm taking a clean build and then i will run this so here is the start file and uh, here we go this is the stage guys you can see uh, the image has been loaded successfully inside the image view and it is perfectly displaying on the stage so guys uh, this uh, session was uh, covering the fact in which you were facing uh, the path issues and uh, the same thing i will uh, explain you without the fxml so this is the case where we are using the fxml and you can see the path uh, you can verify i'm telling you uh, and focusing you on this fact that this is the most important thing the path the right path otherwise 
it will throw an error okay now with the example uh, the second example i will use here which is a non fxml based so a simple java project suppose in case you are uh, using image view programmatically and want to display in your stage then what you will do this uh, different kind of logic will appear so i will show you one more thing that uh, the image can be loaded in such a way as well so here this is the image object we are preparing as you have seen in the fxml based project we have a prepared ready made image view object but right here we have no fxml we have to prepare image view object as well but the structure is same we are putting uh, our image inside a folder which is at root level you can observe here and you can compare let me open the fxml project as well you can look at here so we have uh, only the folder name is changed i have placed the same image at a root level inside the folder okay so in this case when we are not using get resource as a stream then we have to give the complete path okay so folder is at root level that's why we have used this forward slash so forward slash telling that it must be searched at root level so this folder will be found at root level okay so here is our image inside this folder and this is the way to creating the image object with a uh, image after that we have uh, created an object of image view and uh, we are calling a certain image method as usual and uh, passing this argument image object okay it's ready and these three lines uh, are the important thing in this video tutorial session and the rest of the code is uh, by default when you create a project you will get these lines of code and uh, after that we have added this image view object on root with the help of root dot get children dot add and rest of the things is as usual so this is the code and uh, i will take a clean build before run this example here we go you can see the image is loaded on the stage i hope you guys have a clear understanding on this image loading inside the image view as i have explained in this video tutorial so we have uh, seen the loading of image with the help of fxml based project also we have seen the loading of a uh, image inside the image view with non fxml based project i hope you guys found this video useful please like this video and uh, appreciate us by subscribing our channel press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help